One of the things for us that was really important when we started our business is we wanted to use our business to make a difference in the world. And that's been really our main goal. And we've been doing it all along. My dad was always a hard worker. He worked in the elevators and everything. He was one to say, you know, you got to get up, you got to, you know, work, you got to have a roof over your head. And that's one of the things that he made us like into good workers. What's amazing is our customers really respond well to it. So our customers uh, support all the kind of crazy things that we do here. People need to be together. They need to grow together. They need to learn together. And they need to be respectful. We work with families, their children, school, and make sure they get their programming done, whatever they need, while they're trying to get healed or fixed. I'm not saying I'm the savior or nothing, but, <laughs> but try help. The Respect Award is about caring and kindness in our community. Because when we have caring, kindness and respect in our community, it provides a safe place for everyone in our community. The importance of the Anti-Racism and Respect Advisory Committee presenting these Respect Awards are to highlight the incredible work that our local leaders are doing. We would like to see a community that is equitable, inclusive, right, and diverse. You know, and, and that, that whole you know, concept of uh, respect. We want to see people acting on respect. Our recipients this year for sure demonstrate that caring kindness and respect. They have a long standing history in our community. Leaders like Terry and Bay Village Coffee are what make our community better. They make our community stronger and they make our community a more respectful and inclusive place to live. We often try to, to address the root of the antagonism and hostility and the tensions between groups. But we also try to focus on promoting diversity and uh, equity and creating a community that is inclusive. So we like to, to be proactive as well and, and focus on that positive aspect. The recipients this year have worked really hard to focus on changing our community through inclusion and ensuring that Indigenous culture is strengthened and respected. I want to congratulate the recipients um, as well as I want to thank the selection committee for their hard work. I'd like to thank Claudia Lagarde for nominating me and I'd really like to thank the City of Thunder Bay for the recognition they give you. It's really impressive and thank you. It feels really great to be recognized and to be nominated for this award and then to actually win the award is just, it's, it's mind-blowing. We'd like to thank Diversity Thunder Bay and the City of Thunder Bay for this amazing award. We'd also like to thank all of our customers and everyone in Thunder Bay that has been so supportive of, this, uh, of, our, of our business and, and our initiatives.